Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I'm making this video to showcase a tool that I made originally for myself and I decided to publish it. It's actually a VS Code extension. And I'm going to go ahead and kind of go through the to the process of using it here and, and how to get things going. So the first thing we'll do is we'll open up VS Code. Uh, we'll go to the extensions, um, the extensions tab and we'll search for Elf Insight. And here it is. So it's a parser and call graph generator. So it'll, you know, parse the L file, uh, give you some statistics and a symbol table for it and generate a call graph, which can be very useful. So let's go ahead and install it and let's see what happens. So I've installed it. Now let's go and open a project. So here's a project. It has an L file right here. You can click on it. And it tells me this warning that it cannot find the ARM binaries. Uh, so the extension uses the ARM binaries to generate all that information for you. And by ARM binaries, we mean these puppies that come with your ST installation, installation, your microchip installation, whatever um, ARM Cortex based, uh, GCC based toolchain you use, it'll have the ARM uh, GNU toolchain. So I'll copy this path. And I will go to preferences, settings, and we can search under extensions, or we can just type here elf site, elf insight. Oh, there it is. And uh, this will pop here, and we just paste it right there. And after that, we can close it, and we're done. And we have to actually restart uh, VS Code. So we'll close that, close this, VS Code, and open up a recent here's that project and there it is so once you oops let's close all these things so all you have to do is just click on an l file and it'll it'll do this for you uh, so as you can see it generated a bar graph it's showing you the four common sections we're concerned about right the dot text bss data and read only data sections obviously your text is always going to be huge it also has this other uh, table here kind of showing you the other sections that it found and their sizes. And then it's also giving you a total flash usage statistic uh, number here. Uh, so that's very useful, right? But this is not much different than what you can get in Cube IDE or anything like that. It's the same information. It's just displayed a little bit uh, different. Uh, what is different is this uh, symbol table where it's actually searchable. Uh, so if I wanted to find something like how tick, oops, if I spell it right, no, nope, what is it? Get tick, there it is, how get tick. So now I have this function, it's telling me that it's in the text section, uh, it's giving me the size and bytes, the address, and even the file location on, the, uh, on my computer. So that's pretty neat. Uh, you can also sort the symbols by size. So here we see that this RCCOSC config function is the largest function in this application, right? So here you can kind of see what the large offenders are in your code and see what needs to be optimized. So that's pretty much it uh, for this page, right? So we have the search um, ability, we can sort by size. Oh, we can also sort by name. And then we have some numbers up here that are useful. The next thing that uh, the extension can do is it generates a call graph. So if I click on the call graph tab, as you can see, it uh, generated this call graph showing all my function calls, right? Um, and sometimes you can scroll scroll too much and kind of lose this, this thing. Uh, you can type in here main, for example, enter, and it'll zoom into main, and then you've got your graph back. Uh, so all these nodes are completely movable. You can move any node anywhere you want. Um, if you click on a node, it'll show you what's calling that node. So for example, right here, this is calling main and then main is calling all these other things. So that's fun. Uh, you can click on the empty space to take the highlighting away. Another thing you can do is you can search for a path. So let's see, let's go to one of these far away functions. Uh, let's do this, nvix set priority. So we'll start at main. 
and we'll do this uh invic and we'll trace path all right so it found three paths um let me drag this over here so it found three paths from, from main to to this invic function and it shows you right here so you can click on each one and it'll highlight the different path for you okay so that's pretty neat i think that's very useful again you can always click to to undo um and then click the paths again to to see those paths so that's i think that's very useful if you're trying to debug code and and see how you're getting to a function or anything like that um one thing to note is that to get the best uh, results from this call graph, you should compile your code with uh, with zero G. Uh, where is it? Or O G rather? Oh gosh. This flag um, will leave all the debug symbols in in your code so it would not optimize anything out it'll leave all the de debug information and all of that makes this call graph much more accurate this application that i'm running i have tons of indirect function calls i'm calling like regular functions i'm calling it through structs i'm calling it through a link list i'm calling it through a function pointer I'm calling it through a macro, you name it. And I, I tried various different ways to indirectly call functions to see what it could pick up. And it, it picked them all up. Um, and these are all the different functions that it's that main is calling indirectly. Um, and this was greatly improved once I added that uh, OG uh, flag. So this one, whatever your actual release flags will be, right? Because when you're releasing, you're not going to have all the debug information there. It'll make your file huge. Um, but, you know, this is for debugging purposes. So you can compile with OG and it'll have all this um, debug information that will make this call graph uh, much more accurate. Anyways, that's pretty much it. That's, that's all it does. Um, I, I think it's pretty interesting. It could be very useful finding your your large symbols and functions and trying to optimize and just seeing what your code looks like um what your application looks like in a different uh manner here so feel free to go and uh install the uh the the, inst the um extension here from um from the marketplace there is a link down here to a repo where you can file issues or request or whatever it is that you're having uh, trouble with. Uh, so do that before you give it a bad rating or something doesn't work. And again, this is just for ARM Cortex. So if you're compiling ESP32 stuff or some other architecture, this is not going to work for you. Um, but yep, I hope you guys like it. Uh, let me know what you think. Bye.